What's good, y'all? This is KC Supreme with Internet Money. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a VST that not a lot of people know about. Uh, you may already know about it, but um, I'm going to show you how to set it up in FL Studio. A lot of people slept on this plugin, and they have never tried it. Now, it's pretty big in the EDM world and the EDM producer world, but um, you can use it for you know hip-hop, R&B, all the kind of shit that we like to make, too. So... Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to open a VST. Right now, I got my uh, Aventador Electra X Bank pulled up. You know, I got some good sounds in there. And uh, I'm going to find a sound first uh, that I like. So I'm going to go through some of these. Let's see. Looking for a pad, probably. That one's dope as fuck, but probably um, not easy to hear the chords for this particular use. Let's try this one. All right, so let's say we're going to use that one. Uh, the plugin I'm talking about is called Cthulhu. I think that's how it's pronounced, but I may be saying it wrong. Maybe I'm butchering it. But um, basically, when you pull it up, it's going to look like this. It's by Expert. That's the same people that do Serum. Um, so it's a really dope plugin. Um, basically it has an art function and a chord function right now we're just gonna focus on the chord function so I'm gonna make it look like this just uncheck the ARP and uh, it has a few different functions on here basically there's a section right here where you choose presets so you know it's got some different stuff like let's see some of these and it's got a sound engine built into it um, so you can preview the chords without having to link it to anything um, this is kind of a weird plugin because you actually have to route it through FL Studio. And uh, so when you hit one key on the keyboard, like I'm hitting middle C, it's playing a chord when you just hit middle C. Um, and this is more like classical chords. So if we go in here to Icon Diatonic and we choose a key um, like E minor. And now I'm just hitting one key and it's playing these chords. So if you're out of ideas or you got beat block, this can give you a lot of inspiration really quick. So let me just kind of find a pattern I want to play. All right, so let's just say we want to play that pattern. So I got my Electra X open. So now I'm just going to go to this little icon right here. In FL Studio 12, this is what it looks like. Um, but basically, it's the VST wrapper settings. And so it's going to look like this. And right here is what you're looking for, where you set the MIDI input and the MIDI output. So I'm just going to set it to 5. Okay, now we want to go to uh, Cthulhu. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set it to 5 just like that so now when I hit a note in Cthulhu it's gonna play Electra X and we want to get rid of the stock like uh, synthesizer sound that Cthulhu plays by default we're just gonna click that and now we just hear Electra X And so you can hear how it's working. Let's let's play some different sounds. Let's try this one. All right, I fuck with that. Um, so once again, you can get this Electra X Bank at WaveSupply.net. Um, it's called the Aventador. Um, I really fuck with it. I made it, and I use a lot of the sounds like in every beat now. So you know, I fuck with it. But uh, anyway, back to the task at hand. Um, so I'm going to record these chords. You want to make sure you have Cthulhu selected. And I'm just going to record the pattern using four different keys on my keyboard. Um, so I'm just hitting C, C sharp, E, and then F. And these are the chords it's playing, and it breaks it all down here too. So I'm just going to record that.
I just hit a one last chord there. I didn't know how it would sound, but I took a risk. Um, let's see. So now I'm going to basically fix it because of latency since I'm recording my screen. Um, select all, alt Q to quantize. Um, it didn't do it that well, so I'm going to manually go back and fix it real quick. Now I'm going to put a note at the end and do control L so it lengthens all the notes so they touch one another take that out and one more thing I'm going to do is control A to select them all and I'm going to hold down alt and I'm going to scroll up on my mouse wheel it's going to even out the velocities so now it's going to sound like this Alright, perfect. So that's how I like it. Um, the only thing I don't like about this plugin is that when you record it, as you can see, it's only recording the one note I'm hitting, and it's not really transferring the MIDI from this. Um, and there's really no way to do that unless you get some kind of weird MIDI plugin that kind of converts it, but it's just a lot of work. Um, so usually I just leave it like this and I leave the Cthulhu in the project and just do it like that. And if I need to add, you know, more. Uh, instruments or anything like that any more uh, different layers then I just reference this because it tells you what it's playing you can see visually right here I mean you could you could uh, sit here and go to the MIDI of Electra X and let's see you could do it this way you know and just do so it's playing C3 G uh, G3, E2, and A1. So, you know, you could sit there and drag them all out if you really wanted to have the MIDI. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much how I use it. Um, it also has an ARP function. I'll show you that. I don't use it a ton, but, you know, it'll turn the chord you just played into this. And that's pretty hard, but, um, you know, there's different presets you can go through. And most of them don't sound that good. That's why I don't usually use it, um, but it's there. Also, um, since every note on the keyboard is a different chord, if you want to transpose this up an octave, all you got to do is use this right here. And you want to do 12 to go up an octave. So it turns this right here up 12. This brings it up higher. And it actually does it globally, so it does it across the entire keyboard. Um, so that's helpful if it's too low. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how I use it, Cthulhu. It's really dope. A lot of people sleep on it. Um, if you know, it, I always make my own chords when I'm making a beat. But every once in a while, I'll load this up and I'll get some you know instant inspiration and some chords going to make a crazy ass beat. I truly believe like there's no wrong way to make a beat. If you're gonna use a sample, if you're gonna use MIDI, if you're gonna use loops, um, it doesn't really matter. As long as the end product that you put out is dope, then that's all that really matters. So uh, I hope you guys learned something. Go check out this VST. It's dope as fuck. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.